Okay, welcome to the next episode where we look at difficult questions that can be solved using GCSE skills. I'm the GCSE Maths Tutor and let's have a look at today's question. So in this question we're first going to look at how to build this. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw a regular dodecagon. And what we're going to do is we are going to inscribe that with a square. And we are going to be working out the area of the shaded region between them. Now for this question we are going to put some lengths in and we are going to say that the square has side lengths of 1. So this is the question we're going to be working out. So pause the video, write this down and see if you can figure this one out. OK, so moving on, let's have a look at this question then. Now to start with, we're going to have a look at how we could actually break this down and what we might actually want to think about in order to solve this. So one of the things we might want to have a think about is the distance between the vertices of the squares at opposite ends. And what I mean by that is if we draw this line in. But let's have a think about how that might help us. So if we get rid of this square and we have a look at the shape that we actually have behind. So the dodecagon that we're actually looking at, if we redraw that line into our dodecagon, let's have a look at what it looks like. Now that particular line there, we can actually draw lots of them. And if we draw all of them in around the shape, then we would get lots of these triangles. And also thinking about things like angles around a point there. And we can obviously think about then therefore looking at the area of each of these triangles. So if we get rid of that and we actually go back to our shape, we can also think about potentially what bit of maths we would use in order to work out that length and also thinking about how to work out the area of the square. So some of the formulas that you are going to need for this question are going to be shown on the screen. So now we've had a little talk about it, maybe you can have another go at figuring this out if you hadn't already been able to have a go. So you've got a few seconds to pause the video, have a go, and then we will go through the solution. Okay, so let's go through this. So for this question here then, where are we going to start? Now a good starting point for us is to have a look at this horizontal line. And we can use Pythagoras to work that out. So if we have a look at this bottom right hand triangle, or the top left, but we'll use the bottom right for now, if we use Pythagoras to work that out, we would do 1 squared plus 1 squared and then square root that to find the length of the hypotenuse. And if we write that down, that comes out as the square root of 1 plus 1, which is the square root of 2. So the length of that hypotenuse there is the square root of 2. And we can move on from that. So where are we going to go next? Well, if we now break this down and we actually just have a look at the dodecagon, we can actually think about finding the distance that is just into the centre, thinking about all those triangles and how they all met right at the centre. So for this one here, if we take that length of root 2 and we halve that to incorporate the fact that we're only going to look halfway, then we would write that that length that we've got there is the square root of 2 divided by 2. Now if we put all of those triangles back in and see how that relates actually to one of these triangles. So the triangle we'll pick, I'll go with this one, and we're going to have a look at how that relates. So that length there, root 2 over 2, is one of the lengths of the triangle. And you should already know or have spotted that this is an isosceles. So if it's an isosceles, the other length there is also going to be root 2 over 2. So let's think about the angle around the point. Now there are 12 of these triangles around the point and they all have to add up to 360. So if we do 360 divided by 12, we will get the angle there at the top of the triangle. And that angle is 30 degrees. We now have enough information to work out the area of that triangle. And we can use our area equals half AB sine C in order to work that out. And if we plug in those values, we would have one half a and B are the same length, so we can say root 2 over 2 squared, and we're going to multiply that by sine 30, and that would look something like this. So if we get rid of our triangle and just have a look at this working out, we just need to simplify this for the area of the triangle. Now root 2 over 2, if we square that, becomes 2 over 4, remembering that root 2 times root 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 on the bottom will give us 4. And the fraction 2 over 4 simplifies down to 1 half. So we would end up with a half times a half times sine 30. 
And here's where some of your exact values of trigonometry come in if we are doing this without a calculator, which is how I am running through the question. So sine 30 is equal to 1 half. And again, if you're not sure on your exact trigonometry values, I will link a video in the description, obviously for a full lesson on that. So instead of writing sine 30, let's replace that with a half, and we end up with the calculation here, a half times a half times a half. So if we multiply those all together, we end up with the fraction 1 over 8. So we've got the area of one triangle. If we obviously put units in, that would be 1 eighth centimetre squared. So let's go back and think about how this relates to our dodecagon, because we actually have 12 of these triangles. So we don't just want to have a look at one, we actually want to incorporate the fact that there is 12 of these triangles that are equal to 1 eighth. So let's multiply that by 12. So our next step, we're going to do 12 times the 1 eighth. And we know that we could do that, we could either write 12 over 1, or we could just straight away multiply the numerator by 12 to give us 12 over 8. That fraction there we're going to want to simplify, top and bottom divide by 4, so we get 3 over 2. Or you could write that as 1.5. Again, we're thinking about this in terms of centimetre squared, but we'll incorporate that at the end. So this is the area of our dodecagon, 1.5 centimetre squared. So if we go back to our shape and we get rid of these lines and we reincorporate that square, we also now want to think about the area of the square. And hopefully that's nice and easy because the area of the square is just 1 times 1, so we get an area of 1. So now we have the area of the do do get dodecagon and we have the area of the square. So in order to work out the area of the shaded region, we would just subtract those away from each other. So we're going to do for the area of the shaded region, 3 over 2, take away 1. So that's 1 and a half, take away 1, which leaves us with a final answer of 1 half. Now, obviously, we do need to incorporate some units here, and our units are centimetre squared. So our final answer for this question is 1 over 2, centimetre squared, and there we have our final answer. Now, before we finish on this, there are some questions for you to think about. So although we have our answer, I would like you to think about these questions. Can you see a link between the answer and anything else within the question? If you can, does this apply to other size squares inscribed in the dodecagon in this way? And finally, what is the ratio between the area of the square and the area of the dodecagon? So there are lots of questions there for you to think about, and please do drop me a comment below and let me know what you think of any of these questions. And potentially you could try out one of these questions looking at another square that maybe has a length of 2 centimetres and see if that actually links to your theory. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did enjoy that, please do make sure you share it. Don't forget to drop me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of these episodes. So, hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you for the next episode.